This is Carl of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and this is my Stone Cold Lock of the Century. All week. Tim Tebow is very lucky the Lions are pro-life too, because number 15 almost got the fist bump God personally when Detroit's D-line forced him to make mile-high turf angels. Oh, Tebow is bowing his head on Sunday. Oh, maybe he just looked that way because Nunabakan Baba Sue parked his fat Jamaican ass on his head like a live stage show at a human centipede. But even though Tebow T blows, funny how I don't see nobody out there whitehursting or gabbing after they get a sack. You say, Carl, so the man loves God, so what? Look, I'm Catholic. I don't wear my faith on my sleeve like that. Instead, I choose to wear a chain with a giant gold flake cross that turns into a Randy Rhodes flying V guitar. It lets people know in a subtle way God is my co-pilot, but I will personally beat your ass in front of God if you choose to make fun of me and point at my awesome jewelry. It ain't no way Tebow's a virgin. That's just a line he feeds the broads to get more sex. He's smart. I'll start using it too. I mean, seriously, 30 bucks a pop adds up over time. Tebow's real problem is John Fox tries to dumb down that Bronco offense college style. He's got to go dumber so Tebow understands it. You know, Tebow probably didn't go to college. You know, he's a homeschool kid. He needs something where throwing ain't allowed and everyone gets a sippy juice box in nap time. That said, Carson Palmer ain't up to speed with the Raiders scheme neither. The only conditioning he was doing two weeks ago was washing the gray out of his carrot top goatee. We may see a lot of ordening and bowlering by the third quarter on Sunday because we're at the dawn of the Brady Quinn era in Denver. As God intended, the Raiders are Carl Stone Cold Lock of the Season. All week. Amen.